Taurus, welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new people who are here. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. If you have that astrology chart or not astrology chart, if you have any of those placements in your astrology chart, you're in the right place. Of course, any information you need to find me on other social medias, my other YouTube channels, my website to get a personal service with me, I will have it in the description box for you. And if you want to see future readings from me, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I post and when I go live and I take personal questions, which I do like every other day. But let's jump into it. First card we have, Taurus, we have the Seven of Swords. Now, the way that I'm looking at the Seven of Swords, I'm actually not looking at it the way that some of you guys could be looking at the Seven of Swords in this reading. I feel like you're purposely doing your best at trying to avoid someone, trying to avoid going backward. Okay, the way that I'm looking at this is I have to go and do me. I have to pick up my stuff and leave the situation. And this could be you literally deciding that you're going to leave a living situation secretly so you can get away from a roommate or a toxic ex or boyfriend, girlfriend, you could be deciding to leave a job, deciding to leave something behind either quietly, secretly, or in a hurry, honestly, after realizing that it's been very draining to you in a mental sense. You could also be side-eyeing possibly a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone around you. You could be thinking that they're someone who can't be trusted or somebody who could be a thief. Like there could be certain items in your home that go missing after someone's there. Or you just notice that a friend, a lover, it just starts to become very weird and avoidant out of nowhere. But let's keep going. There could also be certain things that you can't ignore anymore. There could be like a certain health issue that you have to address. It becomes like really pressing. It becomes a situation where it's like, oh no, I, I can't keep putting this off. I also have the page of swords and I have the emperor in reverse. So you could have an ex that's stalking the crap out of your social media. This looks like an ex who did you wrong. Okay. They could have you know, did a lot of stuff to you. And now they're in a situation where they feel powerless because they can't get you to accept their apology or get you to, you know, want to be cool with them anymore. And they could be losing their cool. Like the emperor upright, this is someone who's poised, who can, you know, keep it all together in regards of what's going on around them. And as of right now, they could be having a hard time realizing that the foundation that they have built for themselves may not be as stable. And then now they're trying to come back around. You could also be side eyeing a boss here or somebody that you work with who could be trying to like exert or is that the word I want to use? Trying to push their their um, their power on you or try to overpower you with the fact that they are at a higher position. Okay, let's keep going. There could be several things that are going on around you as well that are out of your control that you need to be careful of letting stress you out. Okay. Now with the Six of Swords and the Strength card... A Leo could be really wanting your attention, possibly a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries. Somebody here may want your attention, but still may be residing in their ego in terms of how they're trying to get your attention. So they could be, you know, doing little things to give you hints that they're still interested, but not fully apologizing or taking that first step. You can see that you're successful you can see that you're successful in overcoming whatever challenges that you have no control over maybe uh, transpiring. I see you, especially if you're in the space of confidence and determination, you may be making it past some sort of work issues. You could be making it past some sort of like relationship issues or family issues. 
I just see like it, it really depends on whether or not you fold because of the pressure or step into the space of, you know, staying tempered and, and staying poised in how you handle things. All right, let's see what else is going on. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. We have personal power. So you're in a space of recognizing where you've given your personal power to, how you can call it back to yourself, especially when it comes to other people putting a dampen on your level of focus or you being in a realization of who you are. This is also speaking to your crown chakra since we got that crown energy here. This is also being able to manifest with confidence. This goes back into what I was saying with the strength card. If there is a level of success that you're trying to tap into, it's going to have a lot to do with your personal confidence and your ability to show up, okay? And also, this is a reminder that things may be out of your control, but you have complete control over your own experience, Next card we have, we have succulents, which represents resilience. And this is another confirmation that you're needing to remain resilient in regards to what's going on. This is discovering your inner strength. This is also speaking about good fortune being on its way to you. And with current endeavors that you could be putting your time and effort in, you could see some sort of long lasting results down the line. So make sure that you're thinking about the bigger picture and not just your current situation in regards to whatever you're working towards. We also have crystals, which represents achievement. So again, these are some awesome cards to receive with achievement showing up here. There may be a goal that you achieve. There may be, um, there could be some sort of financial raise that you receive. Okay. Okay. Overall, you could be recognized for your work, whether in the workplace, whether, you know, you're creative and you get recognized for your creative abilities. But this is also like a good omen in terms of some of you guys like graduating or getting engaged <laughs> or some sort of milestone. And we have opportunity. Awesome. So Yes, Taurus, I feel like there's so much opportunity around you for you to make more money, for you to be successful. You just need to make sure you're not being thrown off, okay, and being hindered by jealous, envious people. With that Seven of Swords, you could have some people who are preying on your downfall. What's the final message for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? What's the final message? So, ooh, look. I think that this reading literally ties in with each other. So this card says, I radiate confidence. When you invest in positive emotions, it's normal for you to feel great about yourself. Self-assurance is the best way to increase your drive and ambition. Believe in yourself 100% and soon you will begin looking, or excuse me, and soon others will begin looking to you as a source of motivation. So this is another reassurance. Your level of confidence is going to be key. So I hope that this reading was helpful. If it was, definitely feel free to thumbs the video up and subscribe. And I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Bye, Taurus.